everyone we are just out for a sunset walk with Oslo uh, a local spot near home it's actually a new local spot we've never walked here before it's been an absolutely beautiful day today as you saw this morning the conditions were incredible we were both very excited yeah, it's good, isn't it? yeah. super it's misty nice. and sunny and it's meant to be really nice all weekend so I thought I'd just film kind of a weekend vlog, take you along on our outdoor wanderings. I think we'll be doing a bit of walking with Oslo tomorrow. Set the cameras as well, maybe? Yes. We've gone into lockdown again here in the UK. Lucky to have, have some good spots on yeah, the doorstep. I know how lucky we are to live in the countryside and many of you guys might not. So hopefully this video will they can vicariously walk with us. Yeah. Yeah, we can show you some of the beautiful nature near us and it might make it a little bit easier, hopefully. Might do some baking and cooking and stuff as well. And I've got a really exciting update on my book. But I'm going to save that until tomorrow because I want to sit down and tell you properly. You'll already know if you follow me on social media. But yeah, I'll sit down and chat a little bit about it. morning everyone it is Saturday morning now and we are out for a beautiful morning walk near home with Oslo and Harvey Yo. <laughs> we're kind of doing a mixture of different walks that we've or rather we're kind of joining together a few different walks that we do quite often with Oslo near home and we're gonna make a bigger loop uh, it's another spectacular morning here. There are cloud inversions in the valleys. Our house was fully in the mist, same as yesterday. But we've just walked through the woods and out and we can see the mist clinging to the top of the water. You can
can just see it behind me actually but I think as we get higher we'll get even better views yeah, it is burning off really quickly. It is burning quicker than yesterday. Yesterday it hung around quite a while. Yeah. Yeah, but um. Well, there's yeah. a really good vantage point just up, just up here, sort of above the farm. Yeah. Uh, so we'll stop there and take some photos. Yeah. Maybe fly the drone. Yeah. Maybe not too near the farm. We can fly it. We yeah. fly it at some point today. We might fly the drone. Yeah, maybe as we come back. Yeah. Huckling, huckling stones. Quite, yeah. Quite good. Uh, but yeah, plan for today is just a nice walk this morning of Oslo, and yeah, then he's been desperate for a long walk. Yeah, he really needs a long walk. Like he needs at least one, like long two to three hour walk a week, and then or more. Yeah. Or more. Most of the time we walk him, kind of 45 minutes in the morning, 45 minutes in the evening, sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. Uh, but yeah. We've just stopped for um, a cup of tea, Harvey's taking some photos in the mist. Thought I'd quickly show you um, this thing that I have here. It's from this brand called Moorswood and it's a seat rolly mat. What's the technical? Well they call it a rambler's roll basically. It's a roll up mat that you can sit on, keeps your bum dry. I'll show you. And it's made of, this is like herdwick tweed I think and then it's waxed on the back. They're super nice, really well made down in Dartmoor. Um, it was sent to me in exchange for some writing work, so it's a little bit of an exchange of services, but I really like it. Makes such a nice Christmas gift. So I'm gonna sit on it and have some tea. I mentioned yesterday that I'd be giving you all an exciting update on my book today. So if you haven't already guessed, then pre-orders are now available. So you can head to ramble-guides.com forward slash shop to pre-order a copy of the Peak District Guidebook. So if you don't know, I've written a guidebook, a walking guidebook to the Peak District that includes 12 walks as well as over 50 sites of interest pubs, cafes, accommodation and more. 
It's designed to be a kind of all-encompassing guidebook to the Peak District that I hope will inspire you to get out walking and exploring and see the beautiful area that I'm very lucky to live very close to. So yeah, I hope you like it if you buy it and I hope you buy it, uh, yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Hello, little bear. and I tonight, a lasagna al forno. I've got the ragu simmering away and then I need to make the bechamel, bechamel sauce and I'm home making the lasagna sheets as well. It's going to be a fully homemade lasagna.
Good morning everyone. Welcome to our Sunday. We've just been out on a... Harvey's laughing at me. <laughs> I'm not laughing at you at all. I hate doing these intros. We've just been out on a really lovely morning walk in the mist with Oslo. We went up to a woods near where we live. We don't actually know the name of the woods, we just call it the spooky woods because it's got all these twisty beach, beach trees. Mm -hmm. Beach yeah. trees that look amazing in the mist. The plan for today is not a lot, just gonna have another cozy day at home. I'm trying not to do a lot of work, but I will end up doing work. <laughs> and we're making a Sunday roast later today. Harvey, right. yeah we are. <laughs> um, Harvey's on meat duty, I'm on veg Hello. duty. Amazon. <gasps> Postman. Harvey's just editing the photo he took of me this morning. How beautiful. doing Harvey? Uh, just a bit of tending, a little bit of weeding. I want to like, we need to get some of these indoors. Uh, the cannons need to go in. So these ones? We're just kind of checking the pots out really. I'm going to have a, a bit of garden time I think. Kind of let it go a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so we've got a little bit wild here. Is there still like stuff flowering? I kind of like the overgrown look. Over here as well. <laughs> this is a little bit wild. Yeah, it looks good though. Yeah, I like it. Still some flowers in there. I mean, I do wonder whether we should have chopped it. Should have chopped it halfway through the summer. Look how well my rosemary is doing. This is doing really well. Just in time for lots of roast potatoes. <laughs> yeah, the sage has kind of got a bit walloped, hasn't it? Rosemary's doing well. The... Marjoram. Marjoram and... Thyme. Thyme, that's it. <laughs> but look at the sage. Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit... It's like one bit. I don't know. Could try just trimming it back. It might have got really dry. Yeah. I thought I'd just show you some nice homewares I've bought lately from lots of very nice online stores that I've recently discovered. Um, but first, before I show you, I'll just let you know that most of the furniture in our house is actually either secondhand or was gifted by someone. We basically moved in here and didn't have to buy any furniture apart from the sofa, the sofa bed, because we wanted a sofa bed. Um, I just feel like I don't want you to think that you need loads of new shiny things in a house. However, I am slightly obsessed with buying homewares that just make the house feel cozy and I like buying from really beautiful stores online. So I'll show you those now. After staying at Invalonen in Scotland, I bought this um, sheepskin merino from Sky Skins based on the Isle of Skye and it's an Icelandic merino and at the moment we've just got it on the sofa because Oslo keeps sitting on it but it was down there as a rug at one point but it's a bit of a mess over there. Another purchase after our stay in Valonen was this beautiful woolen blanket handmade in Wales by a company called Welsh people correct me but it's called Melon Melon Tregwint. Is that how you say it, you think? Tregwint. Tregwint. And it shows you who's made it, all of the people involved. And we decided to get it in this beautiful gorse colour, which I love. 
So we got this blanket from a really beautiful store called Midgley Green, which is in Clevedon, um, which is near where I'm doing my course, my course in eco psychology. So I actually went in there, but they didn't have any in stock, so I bought it online as soon as they got them in stock. And she also very kindly sent these beautiful candles. And their store is beautiful. Not the candle holders, they're from somewhere else, but the candles. I bought these pieces of handmade pottery from Argyle Pottery, which is in Oban. And again, this was something else that I saw at Inverlonen and loved. So I bought the jug, these beautiful little plates. They're just so well made, nice. Oh, yeah, you can see it. Argyle Pottery and these little bowls as well. And I really want to get the full set, but he didn't have any of the full size plates in when we went and you can't order online. So I keep on saying to Harvey, when are we going back to Oban? <laughs> this chopping board Harvey actually made for me. And he also made me this one with this kind of rustic edge, which I love. It's got this bit of stained by tea, but hey-ho. Okay. And finally, I bought this um, cookbook stand from the David Miller Cutlery Factory in Haversidge, which is one of my favorite stores. And I just really wanted a wooden one and I saw this and I really liked it. It's just quite simple. It's got these, you'll have seen me using it in a few videos now. And then it just kind of folds down and I keep it tucked in there. Well, tucked behind the pan normally, but yeah. Because I know I'll get asked about this after using this yesterday, I bought the pasta machine from a company called Margato, but I got it from Borough Kitchen, which is an online store. They're based down in London. Um, for some reason, I thought these were really expensive. I thought they were over £100. I think this was £59, so it wasn't... I mean, it's still expensive, but it would make a nice gift, like a special gift for someone. This isn't a new purchase, but while I'm talking about nice stores, um, homeware stores. The rug is from a, a store called Hair and Wild based in Moulton in North Yorkshire. And we also got these cushions from there. Harvey bought me them last year for Christmas. I love that store. And that is actually where these candle holders are from as well. Because I'm the best boyfriend in the world. He says he's the best boyfriend in the world. Of course. <laughs> So yeah, I'll put all those links down below. They're all from local independent businesses and I think it's so important to support those businesses at this time, especially as they've all had to close down during uh, lockdown or the physical stores have had to close down, so they're all online. Um, I might do a gift guide at some point, uh, maybe like a Christmassy kind of homeware gift guide, either on YouTube, although I don't really know how that works on YouTube or on my blog, but yeah. There it is. Very lucky. <laughs> <laughs> that is a lot of food. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to end this video here. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It's been a really, really nice weekend, actually. Um, I didn't really do a lot of work. It was mostly just nice walks outside, good food, and lots of pole dark, <laughs> um, which I think was just what was needed. So, yeah, very nice. Um, I hope you all have a have or had a very lovely weekend as well. I'm sorry my uploading has been a little bit sporadic lately, but it should get back to normal in the next couple of weeks. <laughs> Osla says bye to and so does Harvey. <laughs> okay, goodbye and see you next week.